Welcome and greetings to all. I am Shen Long Pen Dragon, the Lore Master. So as always, a quick disclaimer. I don't own any of the images or the story in this video. Credit for these all belong to their original sources. So ladies and gentlemen, as you more or less likely know, it is Chinese New Year weekend, and it so happens to be that 2018 is the year of the dog. Uh, in light of this, I thought it would be a nice idea for me to actually tell you the story of Chinese New Year. So I do hope you enjoy the video, and without further ado, let us actually move on. Long ago, in ancient China, a peaceful village sat in the shadow of the mountains. Yet, the peace would be shattered once every year, for the village had upon it a terrible curse. Once every year, a terrifying beast would descend from the mountains. Its eyes glowed like those of a demon. Its claws were sharp as swords, and its fangs were like spears. This terrifying beast was the creature Nyan. Nyan seemed invincible, for no weapons the villagers deployed would ever drive it off. All they could do was scatter before it and pray that it did not kill them or their loved ones. For every year, when the beast's rage had been satisfied, Nian would run back into the mountains, only to descend next year. This continued for many years, until the elders of the village finally found a way to drive Nian off. They had found that the beast was terrified of bright red colours and loud sudden bangs and flashes, and so we came up with the idea of using brightly coloured firecrackers in order to scare the creature away. Nyan was also terrified of fierce, vengeful looking pictures of the gods, for above all else he feared their vengeance and wrath. So in order to prepare for the next year's assault, the village painted their buildings red, they hung pictures of the gods, and prepared every house, every floor, and every building with firecrackers ready to throw. When the time came, Nyan descended from the mountains, ready for the slaughter. Seeing him arrive, the villagers screamed warnings to each other and ran for dear life, as they always did. Delighted, Nyan rushed into the village, ready to begin the slaughter, unaware that the trap had been set. Suddenly, there was a loud bang and a flash as firecrackers went off. Nyan paused, looking around, wondering where the sound had come from. Then without warning, Red firecrackers were thrown at his feet and face, exploding all around him. Dazed and confused, Nyan sprinted down the side street, desperate to get away from the sudden noises. There, he found more villagers waiting, beating gongs, throwing more firecrackers, and shooting arrows at him. Confused and enraged, Nyan roared, and then took off down a different street. Nian found himself in the central plaza, where more firecrackers, gongs, and angry paintings of the gods were waiting for him. It was then that the great beast felt something he had never felt before when facing humans. Fear. Without warning, he turned tail and ran back up the mountain slope, back into his den, never to be seen again. Delighted with their victory over Nyan, 
the villagers named the day a special occasion, and thus the spring festival, or the changing of times for New Year, began. Every year they would hang pictures of the gods, paint the village red, and throw firecrackers in celebration. And thus the very word Nian came to mean the year. This is the story of Chinese New Year. I hope you all enjoyed the legend of Nian, ladies and gentlemen, but it's not the only story of Chinese New Year. As you can see here, this is the Chinese zodiac. Uh, if anyone's interested, I'm actually going to quickly go over the story for this as well because it's quite short. The idea behind it is that the Jade Emperor invited the animals of Earth to his palace so that he could see them because he wanted to know what they looked like. The 12 animals that answered the summons are, in order, the rat, the ox, the tiger, the rabbit, the dragon, the snake, the horse, the goat or sheep, the monkey, the chicken, the dog, and finally the pig or the boar. The Jade Emperor was so impressed with these animals that he decided that he would dedicate a year in the calendar to each one. Hence why we have the Chinese Zodiac. To determine in order of their appearance within the Zodiac, they held a race across a river. And the order that I just stated them in, going from the top of the circle at the rat and round to the right, is the order that they came in the race. The story was that the ox was the favourite to win, however the cunning rat hitched a ride on the ox's head and therefore was able to leap up to the other side of the bank before the ox touched down. Hence why the rat comes first. The legend says that the cat should have also been on the zodiac, however when the summons came the cat decided that he was going to take a nice nap because he wanted to be as presentable as possible for the emperor. He asked the rat to wake him up when it was time to leave because he obviously the cat didn't want to miss the chance to meet the divine emperor of heaven and earth. The rat however felt that he would look insignificant and inferior compared to the cat and therefore did not wake the cat up. Hence why the cat is not on the zodiac and missed its chance to meet the emperor. This is also why according to the Chinese that cats hate mice and rats because of the circumstance. So I've placed this chart here in case any of you were wondering which animal your year comes under. And this chart goes back as early as, well, the 1928 I believe is the earliest this chart goes back. So you'll very easily be able to find where you come under it. Hopefully you'll find that interesting uh, as to which animal you come under. The latest uh, year on this chart is 1999. But as they all go in 12 year cycles, even if you're born after that date, I'm sure you'll easily be able to find out which animal you come under if you don't already know. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the story of Nian and the Chinese Zodiac. I do hope you find that interesting, and I wish you all a happy Chinese New Year. Gong Xi Fa Sai. Or, if you would like to hear a different way of saying it, Gong Gi Fa Choi. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please remember to like and subscribe for more lore, myths, legends and stories. I am Shenlong Pendragon. Until next time, remember, knowledge is power.